They called out the the new WBC um, Middle East champ. That's when that's when I was like trying to hold it in a bit. And then as I was talking, I realized I was speaking Tongan. So the excitement must have kicked in. I did not know that. How do you feel? And then I heard myself and I was like, oh damn, I'm I'm forming up, like I gotta come back to English. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, it's Hemi the Heat, the current WBC Middle East champ. The Middle East champ, huh? Oh, dang. <laughs> it was just me and Doug over there, so there wasn't too many, uh, much things going on on the, on, the, on the day. We had breakfast, went out to the pools, showed up. So we were downstairs at three o'clock, like in the afternoon, we fought at around 11, so. For eight hours, I was just up. I couldn't sit down, I don't know what it was. And then, got the arena around six, it was a beautiful place, like there. It's Dubai, everything's big in Dubai. So we were, we were lost in there for a little bit. And then, there come fight time, we got to walk into the ring. Um, I saw my opponent, he was in. I kind of sensed that he wasn't, he wasn't all there in, in, in a way. Like, you know what I mean? As a fighter, like, you, you can feel it, like, whether he's this guy trying to kill you or he's kind of in there, blah, 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 however it is. At the press conference, I told him it was going to be, we're going to have fun in there, so I, I try to make it as fun as possible. Got in the ring, uh, first round, you know what I mean? He, he caught me with some good shots. Yeah, went around, second round, I could feel the excitement slowly building, and then the fight stopped. <laughs> and, and then he got stopped, he, I think they had the towel thrown in from the corner. Hemi got in there and Hemi won it and so Hemi deserves it. Hey. Ah, so like there's um four main boxing federations. The, that one's the WBC, uh, the WBO, WBA and the IBF. And so that that's one of the main four, but the thing with that one, that's like the uh, uh, the first uh, mi Middle East WBC. So I think Dante Wilder and um, and um, Fast and Fury just fought for the other WBC title. Yusuke's only got three. You guys got three of them, so Yusuke will have to fight um, Fury to, to try and get that one. Then he's unified. He's got all four. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of waiting to see what happens from, from what's happening from all those guys. In kickboxing, there's so many different titles where, and in boxing, there's only four main ones, and, and that's one of the main, the main federations that's been really good for him to bloody get that. Like, like every other fight, once, once all the training and all, the, all that is done, like the fight done, then you just go, Phew. all you can do is just try and not go all the way down, just try and do this. Come back up, you just ride the wave a little bit and come back up. I'm pretty sure a lot of fighters, or, or all, if not all, like, they, they go for the same thing. Once they you get past that high of all the adrenaline of, of doing all this, with the media stuff, you're doing the, the training, you know what I mean? They gotta tell you what to do on that, especially on that week. And then you go from that to just, yo, we can relax now. Like, it's the first time I've, I've ever pulled on this much weight. Yeah, but now I'm back just trying to train all the, all the weight and everything off. I went for run twice this week. And I felt all right, and I went to the and there's yeah, nothing wrong, it's just, it's just a weight, pretty much. So I, I think I wear the weight all right. I know it opens some kind of doors, but I'm just hoping that, like, some bro, badass guys from Russia or somewhere out there in the Middle East would, like, come and call me out and please, <laughs> please call me out. <laughs> Him, you'll probably fight someone, maybe like Joe Joyce or something like that, along those lines, to start getting up over there. I'm not too sure where to now, but hopefully around the world fighting everybody that we need to fight because you know time time doesn't wait for no one, you know what I mean? So I I really want to get in there with the big boys and have a have a good bang out with them and show myself up from this side. Yeah, because I think I'm a I'm a bit too chill sometimes, like, you know, in, in the ring and that, but like I need to feel that threat of oh, like, oh this might be the guy that'll hurt me. So we need to travel the world maybe a little bit more and, and find that. Yeah, that, that excitement. <laughs> Start swinging. I haven't, I, haven't start, I haven't done this in ages. So the guy that makes me do that is the one. <laughs> if you want to be the best, you got to fight the best. I'm 
open for him to fight anyone that's going to get him up higher. It's not really up to us, it's also up to the, uh, like the promoter if, he really, if he's willing to pay for that matchup. Like if the promoter sees there's money in that fight, then he'll put the fight together. Because there's only a very few of us right now, it'll just be like Joseph Parker would be like one of them, uh, Junior Farr would be one of them, and, and then me, and I think maybe two, other, two more other guys. You know, that'll be from New Zealand. I'd love to get in there with, with Joel, you know, just to, just to see where I'm at. I like, have a good go with him, but he, he's a good guy. Like, um, I'm not too worried if I get it or not, you know, but everyone else, like, in the top 20, I would love to, to fight them. I, I'm in, like, whoever it is, whoever they put or in front of us, uh, we, we, only, we only know how to say yes. <laughs> we only know how to say yes. <laughs>